Good evening. A fair spread of weather conditions in hell over the next few days, but let's take a closer look. The first circle, limbo, um, a fairly bland day, winds light to moderate. Now in the second circle, a severe weather warning has been put in place for the territories of the lustful. Strong winds impacting on both clockwise and anti-clockwise travel, so we are issuing a recommendation that you only travel if your journey is absolutely being pushed along by a pack of ravening devils with whips. Now, those guilty of gluttony, I'm afraid you face yet another bad week with a diet of rain, hail and black snow. Still, that is a slight improvement on the yellow snow that you had last week. On a more positive note, no major weather worries for the hoarders and spendthrifts, so a lovely day for pushing those huge boulders backwards and forwards. Some choppy waves on the surface of the river Styx today, and that might make single-handed combat quite difficult, so you might want to settle for a more general melee. A lovely sunny day in the sixth circle today. Light winds bring in that touch of freshness, and we should see temperatures getting up to about 24 degrees with no chance of rain. If you're a devil working here, you might want to book the afternoon off for a picnic. And if you were sent here for the sin of heresy, then I'm afraid you're locked in a stone coffin. So you probably don't give a fuck what the weather's like anyway. Now, all souls entering the lower ring on Tuesday for the Gay Pride event, well, you might want to pack that brolly, because it is going to be raining fire and ash on your parade. Now, a lake of boiling pitch has formed in the 5th district, and we understand from the politicians that live there and are trying to mend their ways that they're being hampered by harsh winds from the anus of a demon called Malabranch. So I'd avoid that area if I were you. And it is going to be cold, minus 50 degrees. But with the added wind chill factor from the frantic panic beating of Satan's wings, it is going to seem more like minus 75. Add to that the falling of frozen tears, and you might want to think about wrapping up warm before venturing out. Well, that's all from me, and now back to Bob with the sport. Bob.